I love him. I'm gonna die. This bear is amazing. Look at him. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. No, but dumplings are amazing. You should definitely eat dumplings before bed. I support. <laughs> I like the way he jiggle jiggles. <laughs> okay, I would die for Will. <laughs> look at his angry little face. I won't. Oh, look at his little cheeks. <laughs> Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. I relate to that so much. I relate, I re so relate to that. I am Will. <laughs> that is an incredible line. You encourage weird. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't, didn't like you anyways. Too much food makes you sleepy. Too little just makes you dumb. Oh, same though. With my feetsies. <laughs> I talked to mom several times. She did not seem worried. We found Barbara. Hee <laughs> hee. Look at me. I have a hat. I have a hat. I have a little 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 hat. to write that with a slash and Twitch got mad at me. Oh, that was so loud. For what reason? What was that sound? Why? Why did they do that? That was weird. <laughs> All right. Well, start game. It's happening. <laughs> um, this is very loud. I need to turn this down. Thanks for the follow, Nasha. Welcome in. Is that too loud? Let me know if I need to turn it down more. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Oh. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. Oops. I I'm sorry. My, <laughs> my hands are too shaky. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Cozy! Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Same bestie. So true. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Snail Physics. How are you? I can't move. Do not. Do not move? Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. We just started. I'm so excited. Move. Can't do that either. Well. <laughs> Wazda. <laughs> to move around. Thanks, friend. Thanks, bestie. <gasps> Well, that's convenient. Do the gamers call it WASDA or do you call it W A S D? <laughs> Hi, Ramiro. You mean like an introspection thing? Hello, bestie. Oh, I ran into a bed. I love him. I'm gonna die. This bear is amazing. Look at him. Oh, bed. Sleep. Bed, sleep. I'll just take a nap in the death bed. <laughs> I love him. I didn't play the demo for this, so this is brand new for me. E to interact. Pog. Don't. Don't what? You're not great at making up your mind. <laughs> Wazzed. I like that. I'm saying that from now on. Owl's a gamer, so I believe. <gasps> Look at me! That's it. No more dumplings before bed. No, but dumplings are amazing. You should definitely eat dumplings before bed. I support. For the third time, Hank. Oh, I forgot his name's Hank. Uh-oh. Better see what's up. Oh my god, look at my cute little plants! <gasps> Can I, can I play this guitar? No. Cute. Hank the bear. <laughs> I like the way he jiggle jiggles. 
Ooh. Oh, so this is this the bed and breakfast? This is like the lobby? Gotcha. <gasps> oh, hello. Who are you? I'm up. I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleepy. Besides... <laughs> Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. I, very relatable, Hank. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? <laughs> Brain empty. Gee, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Look at that face he's making. Oh, I'm gonna move my camera up a bit. There you go. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. Hello? Okay. All right, honey. Basics. While in adventure mode, you can control Hank with WASD <laughs> and walk around the world. Cool. I like how I don't have to use my mouse really for this game. That's pretty pog. Ooh. Don't know any- Oh, I can cook. So do I make people breakfast? Is that the- Am I just like running a B&B? &B? Is that the plot of this game? Again, I didn't- I didn't really look into this before I played it. It just looked cute. <laughs> Good. Get out. Who is this? Morning. Out. That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Okay, I would die for Will. <laughs> Look at his angry little face. <laughs> I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell ya? I live for the hunt. How can we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. Sir, we're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. I love all of their facial expressions. Ah, oh, I already moved it up. Is that not high enough? Is that better? That'll be above, I think, all their ears and stuff. <laughs> well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> I love Will. <laughs> Hi, Fox. How are you? Welcome in. Hank, kids. Uh-oh. Over here. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Coming. Digging. You can walk around and interact with things. Ah, hello. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. <laughs> Whatever that means. Y'all are depressing. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right, point me to the hole. To black moss. What? What? I know I said no go past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. Thanks, Ma. Ah... The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. <sighs> I'll need you to find a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Humph. I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure? Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. <gasps> awesome! But don't lose it again. I won't. Oh, look at his little cheeks. <laughs> he will. He will. All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. I feel like they're going to take a step further than the swamp. I'm calling it now. Yes, Ma. Ooh. Oh, this is Will. I was like, what is this? <laughs> you strike me as a real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of guy. <laughs> Okay. 
Collectibles are special items you unlock. Oh, awesome. You can now access the quest log from the menu. All right. Okay, follow the arrow. Me too, Gumby. I've been so excited. This is one of like, I think the most anticipated games, the like indie games releasing this year. I'm very, very pumped. Ooblets on Switch too, cannot wait. Okay, I found the fence. A Godfather reference? I've never seen The Godfather. Three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. <gasps> Annie, the Caroline dog. Car Carolyn? 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 <laughs> oh, bye, Darian! Thanks so much for hanging out. See you next time. Could be 40 minutes shorter. Fair. Fair and valid. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. I relate to that so much. I relate, I re so relate to that. I am Will. And Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. What a squad. No, mom, I'm definitely not gonna wander too far in an adventurous fashion. <laughs> I promise. Is he a pigeon? <laughs> All right, gang, spur, spread out. <laughs> what was your thoughts on the Godfather? <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving my, my back pillow. Don't mind me, I'm old. You've got a sore back. This is very dark. I thought this was gonna be a brighter game. Oh. Are we digging? What the frick? Tire screech. What in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. Oh, Hank. <laughs> we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what Hank said. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. That's a good point, Annie. <laughs> it's Laura and Max from the quarry. <laughs> Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. Interesting. Oh, I'm following them. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I'm coming, friends. <gasps> traveling, 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 traveling. Achievement, little rebel. Got an achievement. I'm a little rebel. Pawn voyage. That's a very good, very good pun. What the heck? Ooh. Oh, I can build this? Is that the idea? Oh, I can like, so I can like improve the area. That's cool. That's very cool. Interesting. It's another exit. Hello. <laughs> Will stayed up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. Uh oh. Oh, Annie. Oh, Annie. I fell asleep halfway through. Annie. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Okay, girl boss. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Interesting. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there. Fine. Gentleman in the, uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. <laughs> How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. <laughs> 
What do we get to share again? <laughs> very, very minor. How exactly are... Oh, he's doing the math meme! Look, he's doing the math meme! That's so funny. Oh my god, these writers are funny. <laughs> Pond Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend <laughs> corporation. What the? Offering secured, touristy, adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. Oh, he's data mining. Gotcha. You lost me. Don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom, 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 heirloom of choice. And we'll give you... A one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. This is a scam. This is this is a scam. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything expensive. Or a heirloom. Um, okay, hey, Hank. You don't have to roast me like that. I, I get it. I pronounced it wrong. All right. Pond Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premises. No matter how run down or decrepit. <gasps> oh, are these like the freaking, what are the bad guys in Stardew Valley called? The Jojo Mart people? Like I can go this route to like buy my b and Is that the idea? Is that the idea? No matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? Crowned, crowned, Jojo Mart. Jojo Mart. What did I say? Did I say Jojo Mart? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot, Will. I read it in a magazine. <laughs> humans are whack. <laughs> so true, so true. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage Premium Premises, 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 by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it to up to a minimum standard, which Frankie, 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 no one enforces, <laughs> and drastically, barely alter your monthly income. Awesome! This sounds great, Finn. Simply press the green button under my gullet, and a representative will get in touch. Pog, Pog. I'm gonna be honest. Shark oil. <laughs> I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> Fair and valid. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. <laughs> well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans. I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude. <laughs> I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Hank. Hank. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> that one brain cell is working so hard. I, I believe in you. I, I believe in you so much. Human, back, money, give, good. Nice, nice. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. <laughs> Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Oh, it's daytime. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who- I love that. I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. No, he derpy. He's trying his best. Press the green button. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. Awesome, 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 awesome. By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. What the fuck? Why are you people here so early? Welcome to the family, error on unknown pattern. Name suits you. Hmm. You are now contractually ob obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises is, premises is, premises is, premises is, I can't say that word, are ready to accept our first guest. All right, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. That is 
So true. That is so true. That is so true. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. <gasps> Hank. Imagine. Imagine. We're, this is perfect. I do not get scared that easily. Look at his little angy face. I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. Jack, I'm expecting a lot of emotes from this game. Look at all these facial expressions. Please, please, please. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. You screenshot, is that why you asked me to move my camera? <laughs> I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. All right. That'll get him going. I wasn't paying attention to what they just told me to do. This is where my ADHD is really bad for video games. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight, you can sleep until the following morning. This also advances the time. You can lower the roof and walls. Awesome, just like The Sims. I'm just follow the arrows. You can see uptime. Oh, really? I feel like they're doing a lot of mobile updates lately. Mobile? Mobile? Sorry. My Canadian. I can never, I never know how to pronounce anything. Gimme. I want all of it. Maybe you need to update the app. Hi, Tony. By God, a bear. Oh, <gasps> see a beaver. He's a beaver. He's a beaver. Yes, it's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh, goodness. You can talk, <laughs> Tony. You're a beaver and you can talk. Why wouldn't I be able to talk? You know, I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask you if you could help us. We've got a help. Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friend and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. <laughs> Tony, please. <sighs> Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No? There's this shock and timber crossing. Shock. Shark. Oh, oh, a redwood play plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well. We haven't seen those in a while, have we? <laughs> What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean... Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. That's so true. <laughs> I mostly use iMessage for my foreign or online friends if they don't have WhatsApp. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, Angela is like, knows everything about iMessage. Angela will se uh, sometimes send you these wild animations. I have no clue how she does it. <laughs> but all of a sudden there's like fireworks in my phone and it's very cute. I don't know how to do it though. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. I felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take on so many shapes. Look here, elaborate, elaborate contours, naughty frames. Didn't like that. Perfect angles. Clearly only incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you, would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh, here's my lip. How wonderful, we'll need my back saw and mallet, a ladder. Oh, and a couple stacks of pine. I have pine. Catch those for me, will you? A bright yellow ones. I'm all over it. All over it. Hi, Skeletta. Welcome in. I am liking the game. It's so cute. They're all yellow. Oh, it's nighttime already. God, the time goes by fast. Oh, did I already do it? I did. I did find all the wood. Got it right here. Grand. Perfect. You're doing such a great job. Ah, oh, thanks. I just picked it off the ground. Does that mean time moves? while I'm talking, because that's going to be hard for me. <laughs> I get distracted a lot. Now I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Is this it? It is. 
Oh, I guess I could hook my work email up to iMessage. That's a good point. All of the, that is wonderful. And we're going to use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh, yes. This will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First, you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do this. That's just, this is just like House Flipper, guys. Amazing. Ooh. This is like House Flipper, but bear. All right. Gimme. We did it. Oh my God, just do it. Did you clean up? Just just get our message. Do it. That's not way more aggressive. I meant that in a more like a happy way. <laughs> did you clean up the shed? Yes, I did. Yep. Great. Now we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. Ooh. Uh... <gasps> oh my god, I made a workbench. Cool. Now what? Oh, I don't have any building stuff yet. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. <laughs> oh, Tony, please. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. Baby's first building. I got an achievement. Thanks for the lurk, AJR. Have a good one. Appreciate you. Commemorating the dingo? <laughs> Hey, Cozy Pander. I'm the only one playing it. It did. It just came out. We were like waiting for it to launch so we could download and play it. <laughs> Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Tony, please. You've destroyed Hank. Now, humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here. This is none of those things, but it'll do. Bon voyage. Why the... The sound alerts are very loud. I don't like that. Sound alerts. I stream too much. Um, you've unlocked a new crafting recipe. Shabby palette bed recipe. Love that. Okay. I'm going to turn down the sound thingies. These. Okay. Once repaired, the workshop is used to craft and place objects as well as build rooms. Okay. 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 Bed. Burn it. Oh, it's already here. Craft. <gasps> okay. How do I place it? <laughs> Once you've done, exit build mode. But I'm not done. Build room? <gasps> oh, do I have to build the room first? Wait. Wait. How do I add walls? Why not? <laughs> Alright, I should probably read the rest of this tutorial. And there are new burn plates for quests, and by buying them, interacting with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I just have to go talk to him. I got ahead of myself. Were you able to make that bed? I was. Yep, got it right here. Didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. <laughs> Tony, please. Here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Okay, here they go. Use the workbench to build and edit rooms. Access build mode and pick a room type from the list. Some resorts only support a limited number of two room types. Until you reach the minimum required. I did not expect this to be like a... A whole thing, you know? Oh, I need doors. Hi, so... Hello. I need a door and a wall. 
Ah, wait, what? Wait, what am I doing? I'm confused. <laughs> Put this away. Put this away. Stop. Wait. Build room. Comfort. Bedroom. <gasps> oh. Nailed it. I did it. Bed. Cute. <laughs> that took me way too long. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to have like a little empire. This is cool. So you're able to make the bedroom? I was. Yes, sir. Stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. <laughs> that is an incredible line. You encourage weird. <laughs> Alright, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority. By having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. <gasps> oh, like a, like a reception desk. Keep records for the shark. Ah, uh, yes. Here's how you can make it. Quite straightforward, really. Thank you. Front desk. After you've made it, just put it down the shed and then it's ready to take. It's time to rake in the dough. All right. I'm ready to girl boss. Okay. While in build mode, you can always place furniture objects freely without having to build a room first. Use the inventory button and then select and place down any objects you've crafted or bought. <gasps> Plants. Awesome. Okay, so I'm making a front desk. I'm glad I collected all that stuff earlier. Front desk? Like right here, do we think? I probably want more bedrooms, huh? Well, I can probably move this later. Pog. 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 Bear boss, bear lit, <laughs> bear keep. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh. So, hi. How are you? Are you playing yet? Are you playing yet? Are you playing yet? Are you playing it? Are you playing that? Did you place the front desk? I did. I did. I did. Yep, it's in there. Yep, it's in there. Why does he always repeat himself? That looks good. Isn't it, Liza? It's so cute. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Yeah, Josh, his name is Hank. Please and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm in bear light. <laughs> I'm bear lit. It's better. <laughs> Not yet, but soon. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Soap, it's really good so far. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. <gasps> Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Mommy, thank you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. <gasps> I did it. I made a B&B. I did it. I did it. I did it. Scummy, thank you. <laughs> I love- I'm gonna say this every time he says it. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Shark boss. Girl boss, shark boss. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. Hmm? I'm an Airbnb fucking girl boss. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. I just realized... Is Hank- Is Hank a landlord? Am I an evil landlord now? Is that what's happening? Is this capitalism? This is bad. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <laughs> I think I think we might be an evil capitalist. Not the same. Okay, good. As Angela says, it's not the same. We're we're fine. We're in the clear. We're still a little capitalist, but in a, like a cute way, in a cute cozy way. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Tom Nook is a landlord. <laughs> Tom Nook is evil. You have to ban me now that it's on. Yeah, it's so true. It's so true. <laughs> no ethical consumption under capitalism. That's so fun. That's, yeah, so right. So, so right. Just a cute, cozy capitalist. I can't help myself, all right? <laughs> okay. People. Oh, humans. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. 
Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you asked Hank. <laughs> All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, Keep your distance. Fuck the humans, is what she meant. We don't like humans, they're awful. Tom Nook is a crook, so exactly. Exactly. You all stand for it. Who are you people defending Tom Nook? Please. <laughs> Realtors, also bad. Nimera, welcome in. How are you? <laughs> These men do look horrible. They really did men dirty here. Women look cute, though. Do I like men? <laughs> Have you guys seen that TikTok? I love that sound. So much for that. How dare you? Bestie, please. <laughs> Can be used to manage your resorts. The resort overview panel will show all the- Oh my god, I'm literally girl bossing. I have gonna have a little empire. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests, and reviews. Will be listed with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning, new guests will request to stay at your resort. Res I can't say the word resorts. <laughs> you have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for their room. Use the accept button and accept a guest. <gasps> assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. Try to match the bedroom scores. Ah, okay. This reminds me a lot of what's that game where you make your let you are a landlord, tenant something. I've played that before. <laughs> Off an adventure in another location, you resort to still run. Cool. Okay. So, hog. Accept my first guest. Details. Ooh. <gasps> Beatrix Harper. A sign. I hope you like it. I didn't actually look what you wanted. <laughs> Prestige level one. Can I like look at what she wanted? Oh, she just wants a bed. Oh, decoration plus two. Okay. So maybe I should decorate a little bit. I know. No, I, I, I role played as a landlord in what, what is that game called? It's something tenant, something, 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 something. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a tenant simulator thing. Um, It's so good, Kiwi. You have to play it. You have to. Tavern Keeper. I've never played Tavern Keeper. Okay, I think I need to find some materials, perhaps. I don't like have any. Thank you. Thank you for the, f oh, thank you for the YouTube sub. I can't see what that says. It's too small on my screen. But thank you, whoever subbed on YouTube. You're the best. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. <laughs> I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. This is such a mar like multi-level marketing scam. <laughs> In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. <laughs> but you have a head start. And that probably means something. Thanks, Finn. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Cute. How do I sleep? Do I have to go home? Oh. Uh-oh, alert, alert. It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old tea department. Hey, I don't. Press prestige. Oh, <laughs> wow. That means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. I need that as a sound redeem for Mean Girls. But it looks just like my, or is that, no. What's that from? It's from a uh, Amanda Bynes. Is that She's the Man? It's from She's the Man. It's from She's the Man. I can't remember that whole, I'm sure MZ knows that whole speech. What's that for? The, if very, I need that. I need that. I need some Amanda Bynes pop-ups in the stream. Looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing. Three things going to die, Jella. <laughs> By adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. 
What an uncomfortable sentence. <laughs> Nothing above five inches tall. <laughs> Survived. <laughs> Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Okay. Some of all decoration scores across the resort. Your resort's prestige score can be found in the resort overview panel. <gasps> Increase prestige by increasing the amount of decoration in your cabin. Do I, do I have to buy? Thanks for the follow, Taj. Welcome in. I know. I should tell them to reschedule. It's rude. Tony, please. Yes, it does. And I always recommend lumber support for serious injuries. <laughs> How do I buy new new things i need like new recipes how are you taj welcome in let me out let me out of here okay wait this is not where this guy Go to Cozy AF Designs. Hey guys, this is the next reminder that tomorrow the new content creator line drops. You best fucking believe it. Better be there tomorrow. Tomorrow morning my time. So like, well midnight my time. So like, yeah, tomorrow morning for you. Is that tomorrow afternoon for you. Something like that. Where do I buy the things? Because Tony's over there. I think the tutorial told me and I wasn't paying attention. I'm just gonna keep collecting things. Should I like go say hi to my mother or? What was that? That was spooky. Where's the, I need more stuff. What? <gasps> yes. I read sometimes you need to check back in. Who's Barbara? <laughs> Just please. <laughs> Is Barbara my mom? Who's Barbara? <laughs> Dosh. Bears, Booba, Battle Scar, Battle Star, Galactica. Very good, very good, very good reference. Oh. Cool. Oh my god, I'm I'm pogging off. Pogging off. Oh, look at this little hobbit house. Oh, is this my house? Oh, this is my house. <laughs> so, ah, I found a new thing. This is just my house. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. Barbara, where are you? She's not here. She left. She left me. Oh, maybe she's still at that stone thing. Nope. My mother's dead. I think my mother's dead. My mother's definitely died a terrible death. Me too. I want a little hobbit house. Okay, well... Oh, there she is. You're doing chores in the middle of the night? Ma'am. If I have trouble falling asleep, I just start reading my book. Are you not going to get mad at me for going off? I guess my brain would rather shut off than read another word. I think I've been gone for like four days. <laughs> I do. I do have the object permanence of a three-year-old. So true. Well, she doesn't seem to care. She doesn't seem concerned at all that I disappeared for four days. That's fine. I didn't didn't like you anyways. Oh, is this something I can take apart? It is. I'm collecting so much good stuff. A sign. Ooh. Uh, that tree was shaking. I don't like that. Ooh, I did not eat enough this morning, I don't think. I had a avocado toast this morning with two eggs. So some sriracha on top. It was very lovely. 
I have not been very good at making myself breakfast lately, so I was very proud of myself. You know, some, take the small wins. Yeah, it's avocado toast. They said that there's an avocado shortage. Or, no, we have a surplus of avocados, so I'm really, I'm a hero. I'm a hero, really. I'm just helping out. Of avocado? How do you spell, how do you say avocado? Avocado? I am, I'm running a cafe just for me. Okay, I don't, oh, hello? Ah, oh, trash panda, trash panda, trash panda. That is the Canadian experience, pronouncing words differently every single time you say them. Trash panda, took. Whoa there, big fella. Where'd you come from? I live here, where did you come from? <laughs> All right, enough with the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash? Junk? Muck? I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. He's a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> All of my jokes now are just TikTok sounds. This is bad. San Junipero? Juno, Junipero? 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 I don't know what that is. But I'm, I think that's a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If we eat avocados during surplus, I know I can never afford a house because of the avocado toast. Slop? Scrap? Rubble? No, I need something... That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You stumbled upon the most handsome curator of, s of crap. He said a bad word! He said a bad word in my cozy game! He sworded! Not funny, haha. -ha. Funny weird. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great, let me just have a look in that dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um, authoritative height? <laughs> That's a big word, Frank. <laughs> be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in the gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Buy me a snack, then we can talk. Oh, you can't open that yet? <gasps> hello? <gasps> it's a human! It's a human. Well, hello there, bud. He looks outrageously Canadian. I wish I could do good accents and I could just do a Canadian accent, but I'm incapable. <laughs> Aren't you a good looking one? Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. I like your hair. Soft bear noises. Oh, he can't understand me. What a kind looking but You really should not talk to bears, Oliver. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. Look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. <laughs> are we a gay bear? I think we are. I think that's canon. Do you... Do you take the bus? I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? Skeptical bear noises. <laughs> I love the math meme. I need this. I need this. I need this. Is that the is that the screen grab? It is. It is. Sorry. Don't mind me. I just needed that. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send. But I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any post since, well, in years. Does he take the bus? <laughs> You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to sawdust? I used to have a redeem way back when of the math meme whenever I was like thinking too hard. I should bring that back. And give this to Beanie for me? Scratched envelope. She usually hangs around Firewatch. <gasps> I played that game. I played that game. I have jobs in this universe. Yeah, do you think he's going to stay at my... And my freaking oh he's got a little house <gasps> cute <laughs> fuck you oliver stealing your shit let me collect please cool 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 
Now what? Find a sandwich. Where did he say to find the sandwich? I thought he said it was going to be at the bus stop. Oh, it's there. Sorry, Oliver. I stole your 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 thing, your pen. And I stole your sandwich. Rough day for you. So did you find any grub? Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard? That's all I could find. Hmm. Just like mom used to make. Aw. All right, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Took's garbage. <gasps> I mean, real valuables. Do you have any decorations? Oh, he does. Plants. Yes. Thank you. Oh, that's why I've been collecting all this trash. Another plant. <gasps> Welcome, Matt. Oh, a mirror could be cute. <gasps> Look at that rug. We're making this house a home. <laughs> Yes, I'm quoting my own clips. It's fine. I'm very self-centered. Uh, scuffed cupboard. We love a scuffed cupboard. It's a lot different to the demo. I'm kind of glad I didn't play the demo just so I could like get this fresh, you know? So how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since that couple ran in a rafter, the big inferno. <laughs> Thank you, Miri. Just gotta fix that 99. <laughs> yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Like Tom Nook. Like Tom Nook. Nook, Nook. I can't... Words. <laughs> Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you put it off. Pull it off? Pull it off. And probably make a few folk pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if we don't get any of those rich-looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for him, how about you do the same for the kiosk up there? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons. <laughs> We're just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep him distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kinds of goods we'll have in the shop. Oh... It's your own shop for decorative items. Ah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. You've got more? What more do you have? People don't see the value in what they throw away until you point it out to them. Then charge them extra. Why am I still getting like a little... Oh, talk to Tony about the little travel. Oh, he's talking about this thing, I think. Where is Tony? I think Tony's down here. Wait, I want to decorate. Oh, hello. Oh, she's having a bad time. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she hates it. Uh, no, workshop thing. I have so many plants for you, though. And a mirror? Imagine? And a rug? Making this house a home. How do I rotate? How do I? How do I? How do I rotate items? Ooh, it is R. Very, very good. Uh, no, I don't like that there. <laughs> I lied. It's going in here. Ooh, actually, imagine. <gasps> cute. Cute, cute. Cute, cute. Cute, cute. Cute, cute. All right. That's looking good, right? I like that. How do I get my prestige level up, though? Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. 
Oh, you do, do you? What authority is that exactly? Um, well... Oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It's one of the first things humans built there. Uh, so kind of like the pyramids. <laughs> no, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangle. Rectangular pair... Parallelepiped. Parallelepiped. Parallelepiped? Parallel. I nailed that. Guys, I crushed that word. A uh, rectangular what? So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And that'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. As usual, my son. Student. Yes, that's what I said. I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out all the rubble. Rubble. Then we'll get to the building. Cool. All right, Mr. Tony, we did it. All clean, all clean. Almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans looked for in the kiosk. I'm in the wrong frame here. Hi, Scar, how's work? <laughs> make a couple but I don't have everything I need to get them just right there's a few oddities I need to get it all together I'll need a bit of human literature I've got a book back home we could use also an old computer sitting under the tower and soft dust. and some other writing apparatus oh I already have a pen I have one I have one I already stole it take your time I'll put together everything else in the meantime where did who is beanie Got an old computer from Sawdust. Who the heck is Sawdust? Who's Sawdust? Where is Sawdust? <laughs> and why is this telling me to go over here? Oh, I can just sleep anywhere? Because I'm a bear. I didn't know that. Rich and appetizing. What was that? What's happening here? I don't understand. Pineapple. Oh, hey, Murph. How are you? Welcome in. Oh, there. Sawdust. This is sawdust. An old computer. Where would I find an old computer? Hi, Chibi. Yes, it's so cute, right? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Chat is loving it. <gasps> What's over here? Dark Grove. Okay, I am not seeing a computer. Computer! Computer! Getting a lot of wood, though. Ooh. Oh, it's here. <gasps> Yay! Okay, and then a book of spelling from the thicket. Why does Will have a book of spells? Oh, it's like he, like, if there's a little eye icon, he just says something about it. Yeah. You have the day off, weekend off. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you, Alex. Look at you taking healthy breaks from work. We love to see it. Day five, good Lord, the days are going by fast. How do I get to the thicket? Is it down? I think it's down. I think this is, yeah, this is it. This is the thicket. The thick of it. The thick of it. In Will's bedroom, probably? I want to be a best man. I think I'd be a best man in my brother's wedding. 
Is this not... Is this not Will's room? Will, where the fuck did you put this book? <gasps> nice! We did it! Okay, and who the hell is Beanie? <laughs> Yeah, it just says like a, he'll just comment on it if it's an I icon. So he just said like, I wonder how big this tree is or something like that. This is not who who is Barbara? <laughs> who was Jack talking about when he said Barbara? <laughs> was he joking? Did I did I miss a reference? <laughs> Her name is Margaret. Different white lady name. Make sure you don't leave on an empty stomach. Too much food makes you sleepy. Too little just makes you dumb. Oh, same though. There's a Barbara trailer, so she exists. Who, who is Barbara? <laughs> Clean up all the garbage. Oh my god, I didn't realize there's so much garbage in front of my little place. Huh? Hi, Alyssa. How are you? It's so cute, isn't it? Were you able to find everything? I was. Took a while, but here we go. This is everything I need. Pog, 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 pog. Yeah, won't take long. Just like new. <gasps> cute, 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 cute. <laughs> is the kiosk ready? Balloons. I see you. I see you. It's ready. I never thought I'd say this. Log Lo Logoria. Logoria. Excuse me? <laughs> That's a big word. It was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis I found in the dumpster the other day. Efficient. Thank you. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did good, kid. There will be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, oh, and I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. The big cheese. All right, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. Thanks, Tony. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Should I buy anything? I kind of want the snake plant. Gimme. Um. Ooh. Janky bathroom mirror. Got some good shit here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh. Okay. Cool. Who the hell is Benny? Can I get a bathroom? Is that a thing I can do? I can add another bedroom. Oh, I need to make a bed. Oh, why can't I make any beds? What the heck? Oh, crafting. Yeah, do that, because I don't have any beds. <laughs> what? It won't let me move. Oh, there, there, there we go. There, there we go. There, there, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Bed. Bed? What? Ah. Rotate. <gasps> cute. Cute, cute. Cute, cute. Little, little, <gasps> look how pretty! Property prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. Why didn't you say the thing about girl bossing? It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations, you've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> Seems your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you are earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door salesman. Fuck me. You're presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Pawn Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. 
So I don't have any guests who want to stay here. So what do I do about that? <gasps> oh, she gave me five stars. Great, lovely experience and a great host. We'll be booking in advance for my next trip. <gasps> That's so nice. Oh my God, I don't have anyone who wants to stay here though. That's sad. That's sad. How do I get people to stay here? What the heck? Oh, can I fix this? Yeah. I can. <gasps> cute. Cute, cute. Cute, 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 cute. Bear stash. Oh, cool. Okay, so what am I doing? I need to find someone named Benny. Beanie. Benny? Beanie. 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 But you could just play this game. Exactly. Exactly. I want to get over there. How do I get over there? There seems to be a lot of flowers. Is where Beanie lives? Wasn't considering <laughs> maybe on the table? Telling you. It's pretty poggers, in fact. How do I get over there? I think I need something like that helps me swim or something. Hmm. 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 I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm looking for someone named Beanie. So cute. Margaret, who the hell is Beanie? You're not helpful. Okay. A good shed. Uh, a bear doctor or a bear lawyer. You decided to ask people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two guests, okay. Looking for a delivery service to a nearby beanie. The package? To make your way to sawdust. Yeah, am I not in sawdust right now? Is that not where I am? Who is beanie? Tell me! Okay, beanie, you're somewhere in this area. Beanie, 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 beanie. Where are you? Chrissy, wake up! I don't know, I was <laughs> stuck in my head <laughs> forever. Did anyone see the Broadway version of Chrissy Wake Up? That was fucking hilarious. <gasps> Are you Beanie? Oh, what? What the heck? Yeah, cutest freaking... <gasps> You're not Beanie. Who the hell are you? Sabine. I don't believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? With my feetsies! <laughs> Good, the physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actual little <laughs> bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use some practice. Oh, Beanie could be short for Sabine. Yes, I love that. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. Are you Beanie? I'm just yoking, y yoking ya. It's a big softy like you doing all the way here. I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's, uh, that's just a nickname. You're right. It's Beanie is Sabine. <laughs> if you're my mom. But I like um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Aww. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. <laughs> Hank, please. <laughs> So you understand the resemblance. No, no, he found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver's license and I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. <gasps> a compass. I'll be on your way back faster. Thank you. Can I come up at your house though? Because your house is really cute. Look at this. This is just like Firewatch. We played this game. Ah, this is so cute. 
Okay, bye. Oh, I went the wrong way. Cluttercore Queen. <laughs> yes. Beanie's a fire watch. I love you. You obtain the compass, which unlocks the area map view. Uh, can be accessed to the map button next to the mini map. All important. <gasps> cool, it's just like Zelda. My god. Wait, can we sleep? It is night. What do you mean it's not night? Lame. Can't unsee Sabine from the Bean movie? There's a Sabine in the Bean movie? I haven't seen much of the Bean. The Mr. Bean stuff. TBH. How do I get out of here? Let me out. I'm done. I found Beanie. Let me out. Let me sleep. Is it because it's becoming morning? Is that the problem? Also, I need some guests. Someone stay! Oh. Ah! <gasps> yes! Okay! Alright! Gotcha! Comfort four. How much comfort do I have? Should I just- I'll take the people who require the least. <laughs> how do I- how do I know my score? How do I know? Ah! Ooh, okay, so I can put that first guy. I can take you. You can go in here. Hmm. Yeah, you can go here. <gasps> Beautiful! Okay, now we have guests. Will, what are you doing there? Back already, bud. Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? Affirming bear noises. Oh, you're the man, bud. Or bear, sorry. So, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Bud! She found- this guy is definitely Canadian. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, drawing all of this out with her was the most fun I ever had. Sure to driving a bus, of course. You know what else we need to play? We need to play that raccoon game that's set in Vancouver. That's- we should play that soon. Of course. Look, there's Sawdust and High Lake. And look, this is where we are. Oh, uh, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places a bus couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? You know? Don't feel right with- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. But with all the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up- Oh yeah, give me some signs. I'll give you bus rides for free! Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyways. Ah, uh, excuse me, I'm rich. Sir. How about it? How about it? Sleep. <laughs> what map can be accessed by clicking on the world map button? Cool. Ah, confirm. Brain's got it. It's <laughs> stuck on over the hedge. Classic. Classic! Okay, where's the other one? Did you get that bus stop fixed? I did! Approving bear noises! That's great news, bud! <gasps> Cutscene! Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Valley. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. Cute! Cute. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of those these stops, just give it a wash. Slap a new sign on it. Ooh! Okay, so now I can open that thing. On GBA, so not too old, I don't think. All right, good, 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 good. <laughs> Hank, where have you been? I've been stiffing all over. Well, I met Tony and he taught me how to find some lumber and then we made a bed for humans and... 
<laughs> and where did you find the alligator weed? Oh, uh... oh no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Hank? Yes? <laughs> we didn't do any of the things she asked me to do. Mom! I talked to mom several times. She did not seem worried. Just saying, I talked to her so many times. Didn't talk to Barbara, whoever the hell Barbara is, but we talked to Margaret many a time. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. Um, okay, let's go find some more bus stations, shall we? I think there was one in... What's that place called? Oh, I can't go anywhere because I have no other bus stations. Sawdust. Sawdust. Yeah, I think Twitch is just being mean to me. As per usual. As per usual. Is this? <laughs> Very good, Sophie. Alrighty. Oh, I gotta talk to Margaret. Is it hello, hi? I, it is weird, because I do say hi, hello. I don't know why I would make it that. Ooh, having this map is useful. Really was not understanding how things were oriented in this place. <laughs> Nailed it, Sophie. So does Tony, where did Tony go? Tony doesn't live here? I really thought Tony lived here. Weird. Ooh, all right, Margaret. Despite talking to you many a time, I'm back. Hank, kids, don't pretend like you haven't seen me. Ma'am. Hank, where have you been? I've talked to you. I talk to you every day. I talk to you every day. I was a very good child. You can't get mad at me. My goodness gracious. You all right? Did something happen? I'm okay, mom. Nothing happened. All right, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you! I didn't even say anything. <laughs> you put him up to this again, didn't you? No, mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been, it's been six days, Hank. It's been six days. <laughs> Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. <laughs> I see. Well... I don't suppose anything is wrong with that. We're gonna get more to visit, and they'll bring money, and trash, and we'll get to learn all about them, and... I get to make stuff for them. Me! Tony taught me how to build a bed, and... I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. Hank! I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You're all probably exhausted. You should go get rest. Yeah, we gotta go check on our humans. Oh, bye, Laz. Good luck with the editing. Bye, 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 bye. Trucker hat? Awesome. All right, dear, at least don't forget your hat next time in case it rains. Now get some rest. <gasps> I have a hat. I have a hat. I have a hat. I have a hat. Oh my God. Imagine a frickin' Hank Squishmallow. <gasps> Hi, Anton. Don't get up for me. I can see just fine from here. What? Let's say you... Oh my god. That's not true. I did no such thing. <gasps> Relax. It's a good thing. It is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash-talking associate. <gasps> Which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up. The way to the old roads been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> you left on purpose to avoid all this. <laughs> or, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Are you a mob boss, Mr. Mouse Man? Do what you want. I don't care. That was weird. That was weird. Little Mr. Mouse Man. You're weird. Alright, is it bedtime? It doesn't let me sleep. 
<laughs> Interesting. Why is there like... Why is there our house so decrepit? <laughs> Weird. Okay. Interesting. Who's making that racket? Oh, he's here! All right, all right, all right. South of Timber Crossing, enter the A25, A24. I'm gonna take the bus, I'm gonna take the bus. Taking the bus, taking the bus. Always in my top user mode, so I never had to search. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to get into my top emotes. You could be a nice table. Grandma? Hello? Barbara! We found Barbara! Everybody, we found Barbara. <laughs> Hello! I've been looking everywhere for you. Hi, Barbara. Oh, who's there? Why? This is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. <laughs> this outfit is a vibe? So true. So true. That's all right. You're not the first critter I meet around these parts. Don't be afraid. Apologetic bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Barbara, please. Do you know where you are? I've lived here all my life. Oh, of course you don't. <laughs> You're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. Oh, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore, although... <laughs> Lately, I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual, almost like something's drawing people back. Then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? Yeah, that was me! I did that! Built it with my own two paws! Confident bear noises. <laughs> I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite the accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. <gasps> Thanks, Barbara! It was nice to meet you! Bye! We found Barbara! Game done. We found Barbara. We don't need to do anything more. That's all. That's all we need to do. Sleep. Oh, why are you sad? Why are you sad? You didn't like my, the stay? Why not? Always make sure your property is up to pawn voyages. Uncompromising standards. My standards are as uncompromising as they get. Congratulations, you've met the absolute bare minimum requirements to being halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you might be on your way to the maximum tax bracket. But enough talk about a bleak future, let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pond Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the Pond Network, find your local Pond Shark and just press the green button. Oh, he's gone! Leaves behind construction placards in every area. Oh, cool! So I'm gonna start a new B&B &B in every area? Extra money or special collectibles. Cool! What happened? Oh, <laughs> Mary, that's adorable. An advancement program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase your guest expe expectations for this location. Payout and bragging rights. You must now successfully complete the following task. Complete the stay for another, okay. A cool new pair of pants. Oh, I forgot my hat. Yes. Okay. Wait, how do I put my hat on? Put on. <laughs> how do I, how do I? Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> Hee hee! Look at me, I have a hat! I have a hat! I have a little 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 hat! Alrighty, people! Ooh, I thought I had an eight decoration in one of these rooms. Did someone steal shit? 
Alrighty, they will enjoy that. Hog. Thank you for the hydrate. Bear in a hat, bear in a hat, bear in a hat. All righty roo. Can I like build anything that would be helpful in here? Should I like put a bathroom in here? Oh, I can't do that yet, can I? No, I can only make bedrooms. Well, that's enough bedrooms then for that. Let's go to the next area. Get to start a new B and B. I think I'm gonna play this again tomorrow because this is very fun. I love a management sim, and Hank is my new favorite thing in the world. I would die for Hank. I would die for Hank. I need to find Anton. Okay, this is a bit sad looking. Oh, garbage pile. Anton, sir, this is where you live? Claire? Not there either. He either skipped town again or is lining a ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. <laughs> but he wouldn't bail, not on us. <laughs> Uh-oh, 10 o'clock, chief. What a surprise, our hefty entrepreneur. Have a good lurk, Eddie. Bye, 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 bye. Is there a problem, boss? No, not yet anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. <laughs> Anton, that's creepy. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. What? The air really is thin up there, ain't it? <laughs> sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. It's on a need-to-know basis. Need to know basis. I love Claire. Claire's hilarious. Well, I kind of need to know. <laughs> you won't get far with that attitude, kid. I wish I could do accents. I feel like this would be much more enjoyable if I could do like a mob boss accent, you know? Maybe I should bring people on to the stream to do the accents for me. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? Ha, huh, what place? This place. Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all these questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good, bringing people back in the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. Save yourself and just get stressful. <laughs> I wanna hear Mobcat. <laughs> Fair. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost weight at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. Out here doing our scavenge runs, I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no weight. Ooh. Just the low hiss of the swamp. You want any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. Mm -hmm. I'll let you keep any scrap you find in here if you get us weighed back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I'd check first. Wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. Okay. Black Moss, here we come. I feel like we found a border to Black Moss, didn't we? Gimme. Here we go. Choked on my glass of water. <laughs> oh, I see. This is just the other side. I've been in Black Moss, haven't I? Flowers. Oh my God, there's so much good shit. So much to collect. Overwhelming. Very good. Hello? <gasps> alligator. Hey, I need alligator weed. H hello? Oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened to th this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? Why do they like doing mushrooms so much? <laughs> These are 20 plus streams to go? Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. <gasps> Heard a noise coming from the trees? Oh no, I was just looking. Because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. It's pretty much all they do. And they sure as hell ain't doing it for you. <gasps> I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend? Here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small, and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Because small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. 
Oh gosh, no, it's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Fortunately. Come inside. I inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyways. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte's amazing. I love Charlotte. <gasps> Hello? Oh, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Hi, Wade! Wade, you're so cute! Oh, golly. And then what happened? We got the piece and scrammed. Twiggy, you're so cute. Is it Twiggy a tadpole? What was it like, the thing? Have a good lurk, Jack. Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest, cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. Whoa. It stank, too, real bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. <laughs> Twiggy is the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen. The art is so cute. Whoa. Twig, what I say about liaising with the criminal? Criminal? Where? Yes, uh, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wade. Are you Wade? Hello? I mean, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. A faster egg noisy fest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. You're gonna pickle the rat? His tiny bones make for great feather holders. Jesus Christ, Charlotte. <laughs> no, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shush, child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talked to Mr. A? I did. Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he'd let me use the dump. It's kind of expensive in your country. I'm really enjoying it so far. I, w I would say... I don't know how many hours gameplay it is yet, but it feels like it's probably like a never ending type gameplay because it's like a management sim. Um, and it seems like I'm not just managing one B&B, &B, but like multiple B&Bs. So I think if you like management sims, you'll get a lot of game out of it. So I would say that's probably worth it. Um, but if you're like, just kind of like, you know, want like a story game, I don't know how much content there will be. So how'd you rate it out of 10? <gasps> That's hard. I think so far from what I've seen, I'd probably rate it pretty high. I'd probably rate it like an eight. The management is pretty good. The story is very funny. The art style is very cute. Um, yeah, I'm liking it a lot, to be honest. It's really, really good. So I'd say it's worth it. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's a value of circumstance. Charlotte, please. No, I've just met a lot of money. I'm sorry, Scaletta. I do really like it. I would totally tell you if I didn't think it was worth it, but this is one of the better, like, hyped cozy games I've played in a while, to be fair. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. You won't find them anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe the bird brain in A24 has some for sale. He just gets them here anyway. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. Oh, bring me back a few and I'll see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. Interesting. Oh, I already have charcoal. <gasps> Dozen lilies. Yeah, that looks right. Good, this better be worth your time because next time you're taking them back in a jar <laughs> and paying double. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can bend after the little lilies like she used to. Shush, child. What? What did she do with the lilies? Charlotte the half-tailed alligator struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary but didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy who by their mere tiny presence debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her boiling cauldron. That's the hope, at least. Yeah, how could she have such a cute friend if she was evil? All right, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am? Scram! 
Yes, ma'am. That's a good point. They do often go on sale. That's a really good point. Okay. <laughs> can I sleep? I can. I love that I can sleep anywhere. That's awesome. Ooh, I have some guests arriving. Thanks for the follow, Rosie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your follower emotes. Okay, motel. Okay, so this is day 24. I'll talk to Anton. And then I want to go talk to my guests. Or not talk. I want to make sure they're comfy. Make sure there's no trash laying around. Hello. You are not stepping one foot outside of the stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. The first rule of... That's a big word. Gar garbo garbocology. Garbocology. Is the cream always rises to the top? So make sure you dig deep. That's gross. Claire's obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton, the boss, seems like a real hard ass. They've sworn a lot in this game. More than I thought. Like twice, but that's a lot for a cozy game. You gotta be in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting. Useful in a limited capacity and only under strict supervision. <laughs> He's according to Anton. Hi, Risto. Good morning. What a strange bunch. Risto, are you playing this game? It's very cute. It's very pog. Yes, ma'am. I always say I've had enough of him. Then I remember the advantages to having an extra pair of paws on hand. I know, Risto. I'm playing a bear game. It's bear game day. Good morning, Ryan. Welcome in. Like we're sending out on a wild goose chases. Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. We always keep our word. I am a bear girl boss. I am starting an Airbnb empire. And I'm a cute little bear. That's all you need to know. That's the gist of the entire game. It's amazing. I'm loving it. It's like very management sim. I really can't remember the name of that game. The Tenants one. It's, it's a lot like that. Hide a body. Hank. Hank, please. Jesus. Okay, I need to collect a bunch of trash because then the little trash panda will will give me things in exchange. This is a gold mine. Can't wait to tell me what body to hide. <laughs> Ooh, glass. <gasps> so much good stuff. Oh my God. We're pogging off, we're pogging off, we're pogging off. I know it's too bad about the Switch version, but I'm excited about it. Hey, Laria, welcome in. The game is so good. It's everything I ever wanted. It's everything I ever wanted. It's so very good. Oh my god, Scaletta, I love Spirit Fair. One of my favorite cozy games of all time. I feel like it's the one I tell everyone to play first. If they're like just getting into cozy games, I'm like, play Spirit Fair? Everyone loves it. I can't I don't know a single person who does not love Spirit Fair who's played it. Gets a bit tiring? Oh, 100%. It gets a lot easier once you've upgraded your boat thing. Of Gravity Falls? That's such a good one. Yeah, that's a very good comparison. It's totally the same art style. Yeah, I would say that Spirit Fair is obviously like a very like traditional management sim. So it's very similar in that way that it's like, you know, you have tasks to do. You're kind of traveling around meeting new people for sure with Stardew. So I'm curious. It's definitely more similar to Spirit Fair than Stardew, for sure. Um, it's like fetch questy stuff and management things. So if you like Spirit Fair, you would definitely like this game. 
<gasps> oh. No worries, Risto. Have a good work day. Thanks for stopping by. <gasps> Who are you? If switch. I never buy. I only sell. That's how I make the big bucks. Ah, hello. You're cool. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I was saying earlier, Skeletta. Like, I think... If it's, like, Spiritfarer and, like, most management sims, I'm guessing that it's going to be endlessly playable because you'll just get to continue, you know, working on your B&Bs. Um, even if you've done all the, like, main quests and stuff, you'll still be able to do that stuff, I assume. No, I totally get that, Alyssa. When I first played Stardew, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I kept kind of just like, yeah, not knowing what to do and getting very overwhelmed. It took me a while and like a lot of watching YouTube videos and stuff to get into it. Who are you? Gus. They're gonna smell in the world that can disgust me. I see you're already trying to prove me wrong. Nope, all right. <laughs> you're a jerk, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Wild. I think you can play after you finish. Yeah, I would assume. I would assume. <gasps> oh, I found a new, a new friend. Hello. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. <laughs> you guys buy indie games physical or digital and why? Well, I tend to buy them digitally because a lot of indie games don't have a physical release. Um, and to be honest, I prefer digital games. But uh, if I am going to get a physical game, it's probably going to be more like the Zelda games and stuff that I want to like steal book or something of, you know? But that's just me. I, I'm not that attached to physical releases. <laughs> yeah, also that, Miri. I, I like move too much. <laughs> Hello again. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. What's my favorite game ever? That is such a hard question. I, ooh, ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's a tie. I like a lot of different games, <laughs> you know, like my favorite, like non cozy game was honestly probably The Last of Us 2. Ooh, no. Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. The Last of Us 2 is a very close second. Um, my favorite cozy game Mmm, a short hike is probably up there. Probably, probably. And my favorite like game of all time is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm a huge Zelda fan and that game is very nostalgic for me and very important to me. So yeah, sorry, that is a much longer list <laughs> than just one. I'm too indecisive, <laughs> so. Ooh, Coffee Talk's probably up there. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It's like my favorite like i'm in the bath i want a cozy evening game to pick up because it's like reading a book but i wouldn't say it's like as much of a game you know like it's not there's not as many game elements to it so yeah it's a very long-winded answer to a very simple question <laughs> i'm sorry yes you said that i'm already part of one welcome to the arid plains the desiccated desert we're sitting in a parking lot the wild wasteland <laughs> can't believe i'm following a fish suit around <laughs> A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum, the tunes of old country roads. <gasps> country road, take me home. Is that 200 bits? What's the country road? <laughs> this is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. <laughs> Make no mistake, adventurers. Can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities. What up, cool kids? Which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. Sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. Okay. Sleep. Welcome to the roadside motel. Would you like to repair it? Yes. Yep. Step one. Clear out any debris and garbage. I did that. I did that. I did that. Yes, it is. Good job. This is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know that you did a good job. <laughs> Gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. Pinewood planks, iron nails, and stone. <gasps> I need stone. I need stone bricks. Where would I find the stone bricks? 
There's a little diner over here. Oh, this is a cool area. I did. I got everything. They're all here. Get your butt to work. <gasps> Do I have to clean this? Oh, we did, we did it. We did it. We did it. We fixed the motel. I did it. 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 I, I did the construction site thing. It's ready. Astounding. You're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You are currently in position. One. Out of one. Uh, hey, that's not bad. It is certainly something. <laughs> Hi, Guy. How are you? Welcome in. As a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step in this possibly yet not probably profitable operation. Trick the humans to come over? Trick the humans to come over. I mean, offer a valuable, <laughs> a valued customer a room for lodging. <gasps> All right. I got this. Okay, little little bedroom over here. Little bedroom moment. Bed. Oh, I keep forgetting to build the bed before we start. Bed. 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 Bed, bed. Okay, and then what else can I make? I can make... Bathroom? Oh, I don't have any of these things, though, that I need for it. Cool, though. Special. Distillery. Ah! <gasps> cool. And book it to a guest. Oh, I need a... I need a front desk reception. <gasps> the motel! Okay. Uh, oh, you have low standards. We love that. Perfect. <gasps> Why is it not nighttime? Why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a guest on the way. Astounding. They're in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Sure. Because of our premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profit. Not sure who's exploiting you. <laughs> That's right. Water. Is mutual exploitation a thing? Due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? Sure use a lot of words to say very few things. <laughs> I think I'm getting a cold. I, I have this thing where if I sneeze once and not twice in a row, I'm oh, I always, it's always a cold. I don't know what, I, it's like my body just does that specifically. Awesome. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Can I sleep yet? I can. Is that oh, Brad and I balled like the last one? Cute. Okay. Introduce a new type of score. Hygiene. Ah. Okay, well, let me build the bathroom. Thanks for the follow, baby black. Welcome in. How are you? Okay. What? Oh. Hello. Uh, I'm okay. Well, yeah. I could get a top up. Thank you. Are you okay? You look very sleepy. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I think. Oh. Ah, uh, I'm confused by this menu, but that's fine. Where should I put the bathroom? Next to this. I feel maybe I could put all the bedrooms back here, and then like a. Did 
that's a that's a moment. Got to find you. Love your IG images. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Wooden shower. Actually, can I? This is a very large bathroom in hindsight. Oh, it's windows. Ah, wait, wait. Can I like make this smaller? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Where was this window before? Here? Thank you! Is that what I had to do? That's all I had to do. Yes? Yes. Okay, I might finish off this motel and then I might end it for today and we'll come back tomorrow and play more of this. <laughs> Wishing off your own future. Press the green button. I won't end yet. We've got a bit more. I'm going to finish off this motel and see what we can do. Bathroom's now amazing. Now that your guests' needs for immediate relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. How is it? So freaking good. This game is so good. I'm in love. Being comfortable? Taking some time off? Repression. That was my third guess. Recognizing the insight into customer motivation towards your product is a key detail of modern marketing. You're doing the thing again. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? Hey, I've put a lot of work into this place. Look at this angie face. <laughs> I love all of his facial expressions. <laughs> That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop debt collectors? Yourself. That's a little dark. This is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities. A bar. That's worse. <laughs> but not just any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated establishment. A distillery. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I'm making a bar. Cool. How refined. <gasps> cool. In the motel? All right. Okay, a bunch of bar stuff. This, this, and this. This game is so cute, DB. I'm in love. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Do I have all the things? I think I do. Where should I put the distillery? That feels really big, but that's fine. It is a bar, to be fair. Oops, no, 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 never mind. Um, ah, bar. Little bar stool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait. Yes? Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough money. I'm too poor. Well. <laughs> I refresh. Does it still say stray? <laughs> okay, I need to make some more money. I think we need to go to our other B&B. &B, get some guests. There's <laughs> a little bear. Very good. Very good. I was gonna say, TB, I know you have this on your wish list because I saw it on Steam. <laughs> it's really good. You would love it. Just came out like two hours ago. Okay, should I like make this another bedroom in here? Because we have a lot. Perfect reviews. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome in. Do I have an eight? I don't. Mm, I can accept you guys because you have low standards. I need to buy some new stuff. I'm going to make another bedroom, I think. Yeah, it just came out today. We've been waiting all day for it. Okay, let me move some stuff around so I can get a third bedroom in here. Okay. Okay. 
big bedroom. I freaking forgot to make a bed. <laughs> Someone remind me to make the goddamn bed. All right, all right. They don't need a bathroom, they have an outhouse. They're fine, they don't need a bathroom. Oh, I can't even make one in this place anyways. Bed commands, don't forget the bed. Okay, I need to buy more decorations. But now at least I can fit another guest in here. Oh, you guys, our standards are too high. My comfort level is not that high. Where's my friend that sells me things? Trash Panda. Trash Panda? We finished that cat game yesterday. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What you got, sir? Mmm. Sure. Did I buy that? No, I did not. Oh, we got a lot of storage space. A rug. Making this house a home. Hmm. Retro jute box. This is very cute. It's very, very cute. Small nightstand. Dresser. It's still on straight. Yeah, that's so bizarre. I didn't even know that could happen. Cookies. All right. Well, that was good. Making this house a bear home. <gasps> Ooh, I unlocked this. I didn't even notice. Ooh, garbage. It is. Congratulations. You've once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. <gasps> I got pants. <gasps> Guys, I got pants. have pants <laughs> it's more of like a management sim we were saying it's very similar to spirit fair and that it's like kind of questy things that you got to do there's a little bit of a story for sure for sure must now okay what's raise the prestige level yes yes what prestige level am i currently at This bear wants to be human, I think. We got a lot of ways to go there, actually. Okay, I need some money. Uh, first, what was I doing? Seems like non-time locked Cozy Grove a little. That is so true. It is a lot like Cozy Grove. Yeah, that is that is spot on. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I'm liking the vibes. It's very chill. For sure. Um, cute, 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 cute. Look at that. I'm going to leave this for our bar. I think that would look cute in our bar. How? Oh, look how close we are to this prestige three. Okay, just kidding. I'm putting this here. <laughs> we got it. We did it. We already unlocked the thing. Yeah, I agree, DB. I liked Cozy Grove, but the I didn't like the time, the the daily thing. It wasn't my vibe. Yes, I like to speed run games, as you all well know. Can't do that when it's time locked. Further improvements available at this location. Ooh. Yes. I have a hard time enough time for Animal Crossing. Exactly. Like, I'll make an exception for Animal Crossing. To be honest, I time travel a shit ton in Animal Crossing to make it worth it. But I just, I like, when I play games, I want to play, like, all day, every day. You know? I get really hyper fixated. So, you can't, you can't time lock me. I just can't do it. Can I go to the A24? No, I need to unlock the... Ooh, yes, I need to buy... a bus stop thing. Bus sign. Nailed it. We gotta earn a lot of money to 
afford the bar. Oh, should I just make the bar smaller? Is that why it costs so much? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sad. I think for AC it takes so long to collect worthwhile items. Yeah, I like watching AC streams. I like um, building and stuff in AC. I think that was really cool that they added that element. Um, but yeah, I usually just, I just time travel a lot and then I hyperfixate on it for like a week and then I never play it again. <laughs> and things to have time locked quest. Uh, yeah, I don't mind that. Like little unlockables that you can only do in a certain time. That's, that's fine. Okay, what if we made it smaller? Why don't I have a door? Where's my door? Really, an itty bitty tiny one. An itty bitty, an itty bitty, itty bitty. <laughs> this is too small. It's fine. They can still sit. It's, it's a usable. It's a tiny. Oh, it needs to be bigger. Right. Um, I kind of move stuff around then. Does that work? That feels a bit weird. Oh, that's a weird size. Hmm. You know what? There we go. Perfect. Nailed it. All right. 300 when it came out and I just put it down and never did it again. I love that for you, DB. Yeah, I always have a hard time getting back into um, Animal Crossing. I'm gonna add another bedroom. How much money do I have? Not enough. Not enough. Not enough? What if I made it extra tiny? <laughs> I have no money. <laughs> Never mind. Oops. Okay, well, I've got one guest. That's good. That's good. <gasps> Gus. Hi. Hey, Gus. In the middle of the desert, in a rundown metal shack, lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. Seemed like digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Although by the looks of it, Gus's primary concern remained his charm and driving wheel. Cute. Hi. Oh, hello. Mmm. I'm Hank. Okay, who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. What do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. Don't need to. That's fair. Well, just wanted to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward there. But I've only got the two. <laughs> Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. Thank you. What's with all the people? Actually, I might have a hand in that. Good. They got the best food and baubles. And they scare easy. <laughs> a jerk's dream. You don't seem like a jerk to me. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. We don't take kindly to these types of words. Anyway, they used to roam all over the place. Reminded me of chickens. Stinky, floating around, afraid of their own shadow, only stopping for the occasional turd. <laughs> Living the dream, really. Well, you might start seeing more of them again. Doesn't bother me none, as long as they don't stink up the place. And maybe don't burn the joint down again. All they left last time was a scorched sandwich and half a toilet. Fire almost got my little driving wheel, too. I love my little wheel. Worst part is, sandwich turned out to be a stinking leather book. Ask me how I know. How do you know? You're not really playing with a full deck, are you? <laughs> I don't really like gambling, Hank. <laughs> Oh, sweet himbo Hank. It's not really a himbo, but I'm gonna call him a himbo. <laughs> Glad you've got a nice thick skin on you. That or your thick as gravy. <laughs> Either way, I respect it. Thanks, I like your skin too, I think. <laughs> Bless his heart. 
Hey, what did I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So what's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I'm not creeping, I'm helping. So true, Hank. You're doing so well. Right? Right. So making some extra beans on the side? Getting a kick out of scaring their little mustaches off? I think they're pretty neat and I like the building part. And my buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. Hank is so fucking cute. Bah, what are you gonna use it for? Buying food? Ha 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 ha. How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it that way. Just me, my diddly little self, and I. I don't like the word diddly. I get it. You seem pretty cool to hang out with. All right, enough. One more word like that and I'm done with you. <laughs> Gus, please. I like Gus. Gus is my favorite. Finn. Pond Voyage Pond Cruise programs agree to waive any claim for producing personal injury or wrongful death. Good. The most sophisticated distillery is ready. Excellent. You are one step closer to solidifying this establishment. As the premier watering hole in this entire desert. Couldn't have asked for anything better. As we near the consolidation of yet another premium property, we obviously need to make sure our rigorous standards are met. Obviously. To that degree, you will need to satisfy a series of criteria. What are the... What are the criteria? Motel mo Oh, I gotta get three guests. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, he angry. Why are you angry? Why are you angry? Why is the bathroom closed? Why- why the bathroom closed? <laughs> Did I put something in the way? Oh, he got in. I don't understand. Why is he angry at me? I didn't do anything! Just walk in! He's just angry for no reason. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Okay, I think... I think that might be it for today, guys. I think that might be it. I think we have lots to do tomorrow. Or I don't know why. He, look, you're in. You're in. You're in. Stop being angry with me. What's the problem? Maybe. Can I like expand this bathroom? No. No, I cannot. <gasps> How do, can I add walls? <laughs> I don't think I can. <gasps> Absolutely. Bathroom. Bathroom? Bathroom. Why is he angry at me? <gasps> what if I put it over here? Now can you open it? I don't know. 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 I don't know why he can't get in the bathroom. I'm really sorry, sir. I'm really sorry. You're just gonna have to deal with it. How do I save? Anyone? Anyone know how to save? Is this save? I think I saw an auto save thing at the bottom at one point. Auto save. Do the do the thing. Auto auto save. Should I try, like, exiting the area? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quickly fix the bus stop. Before I forget. Maybe that will save. Ooh! Okay. Autosave? I remember seeing it down here. Let's go back to Timber Crossing. Guess you'll have to keep playing. <laughs> So true, Delicia. So true. <laughs> um, okay, game. Game? Game. How about you save? Imagine? Okay, give me your money. Hurry, your stay along so I can have money. Oh, I'm just gonna keep playing until until it saves. Someone yell at me if you see it autosave. Traveling? 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 Interesting. <gasps> Auto saved. Nailed it. 
Nailed it. All right, we're exiting, we're exiting, we're exiting, we're exiting. Oh, your progress will be saved. Also, it, it auto saves, but it also saves when you click exit. Good to know. Very good to know. Cool, 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 cool. 